Yeah. I didn't like, I just turned it all off. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And I Look at that. You got it? I think I do. I think I do. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, it's a big, big red. Oh, wow. I see it. Big, big red. Whoops. Let, let me pull the net into them. Okay, okay. There you go. I'll tell you when to dab, dab it in the water. I don't have control of this fish yet. <clears throat> I don't know if he's going to be big enough, too. They got to be 20 inches. <clears throat> Oh yeah, that is a rare because it has a black yep. spot. Yeah, get out of the motor, damn it! Oh, he's really fighting. Yeah, it's a good fight. It's a damn sure. Mm. Right. Okay, get the net in the water. I'm gonna bring it over to you. There you go. Good job. Thank you, sir. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's sit right steep. Oh, you wanna put him down? Yeah, put him on the ground there. Thank you. Oh, you know, maybe the one you caught the, was a red, too, because it had the green back like that. Oh, did it? Yeah, I remember that one time. You... Yeah. Let go right there yeah. with the boat. Yeah. Do you need this? I'll get it. I'll get it, Jerry. Okay. Thank you. You get back to fishing. There might be another one out there. <laughs> okay, but I need to take a picture of your, your Okay, fish. here, let me pick him up then and get, get that part done. Man, what a tough day it's been. <clears throat> we, f we finally got that probably about 10.30 this morning and uh, we were heading into an area that was off the main river uh, I've heard fish tales back there that the, the redfish uh, like to bury themselves in the mud back there what I was talking about is if you're familiar with the area here just to get you familiar with the area here's the uh, Delray boat ramp right here and uh, I usually start fishing right across from it, from it uh, on the uh, north side of the uh, bank there. And then uh, if you look where it says Arroyo Colorado there, and to the left of that, there's another, uh, I want to say creek, tributary, that feeds into it. And... Uh, <clears throat> That red circle is pretty much where we caught the redfish. Um, and it, it keeps getting shallower the further you go, but that, that's, that's good and bad. I, I hear on the cold weather days uh, uh, <clears throat> that the redfish like to get back up in there and they'll bury themselves in the mud. And that darker soil on the bottom and, and uh, the mud <clears throat> will help warm them up because uh, uh, that sun hits that darker soil and it, it, it attracts the heat much better because it's a darker color and, uh, and then it also protects the fish from that cold water uh, <clears throat> but it, so it, but it's a year round thing back there it's not just the winter uh, there was a lot of bait back there so <clears throat> A lot of people go back there, and it's about from Delray boat ramp. It's it's probably a couple of miles. It's not too far. Uh, kayakers do it quite often. But I kept referring to where we were fishing as back there, and so I figured I'd just come out, stop everything, sh show you guys exactly where we are, um, and and. and that little stretch from Delray boat ramp all the way to Sunshine Las De, De Sia's ranch. I can't, can't see what that is. Um, is. Is pretty good. Just fishing the shoreline on both sides of the river. Uh, you know, in, in that same area, I, this on Memorial Day weekend, I had caught a 32-inch snook. So... You guys, I'm giving you a good area to go, especially if you're in a kayak. Um, and uh, we'll get back to the, the movie now. I, now that you know when I say back there, that's what I'm talking about. 
and uh, a lot of bait was back there. However, it was already, you know, 10.30, and uh, both of us couldn't sp spend all day out there on the, on the water today. Um, <clears throat> Jerry, he, he had a, uh, a trout come in, and uh, uh, he, he was reeling it in, and it jumped off his lure there. Okay, I got one. I got one. Do you? Yeah. All right. Oh, no. oh we got to remember this. Uh, I, I caught a small one earlier. Um, Ooh, got him. Oh, you got one? Yeah, this time I think I got him. Oh, it's not too big. That's, it's, it's a little one. It's a little one. It's all right. All right. There we go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Ooh. But it's a fish. Hey. What do you mean it's a fish? All right, we hadn't had a fish. Oh, hey. Hey, let me take a picture of that. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. There. Got it? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> That's about the size we caught a lot of them. You know, there was a couple of places along this bank. Yeah, that we were catching them right back to back. This was the first day I've been back on the water for quite some time. Um, a little bit rusty. I didn't have the, the camera gear I, quite set up right. Uh, so <clears throat> this whole trip, you know, this is the one uh, area that I'm going to keep. Um <clears throat> All right. I, I caught that redfish on a uh, slam shady. And, uh, well, I shouldn't say. Slam shady is the color. It was a six inch paddle tail. Uh, and what this slam shady color is, is it's kind of a. Uh, you can kind of see it there. But uh, <clears throat> it's white with a kind of a glittery silverish speckles in there and uh, i think that just helps you know helps that act that added bling there helps the fish see it and kiss their eyes <clears throat> and uh <clears throat> we'd had a bunch of rain down there <clears throat> yeah there's a good look at the lure right there a real good one <clears throat> and the, the water was muddy i was hoping when we went back up in this channel here that uh, it, it'd be much cle cleaner, but uh, it wasn't. Actually, it might have got a little worse. H here, we're gonna check to see if it's if it's gonna make the 20 inch cut. Uh, the redfish have to be between 20 and 28. It looks like it's gonna be around 21 and a half. Whoops! There we go. Get that tail back. Maybe 22. But uh, it was a, it was you know good to catch that. Uh, like I said, I hadn't been on the water in a while, and my freezer was getting empty, and uh, we were gonna get those on uh, the half shell. I, I ended up cleaning them up on the half shell, and we'll put them out on the barbecue pit and, and cook them up, keep them in that live well. I really do like that thing. Uh, we don't have a problem with sharks, but uh, at least where I fish. But I've, I've heard tell that uh, if you keep your fish on a stringer, you're gonna the sharks will end up getting them. So <laughs> the uh, live well prevents that problem, and it's also really convenient for that. The whole boat's gonna. <clears throat> just perfect for what I need it for. Now I'm putting some scent on this uh, paddle tail, and uh, this might be for me more than anything else. It gives me my uh, psychological booth. And here we go into a replay of the of the uh, red. There we got it in slow motion here. Um, the rod there is. is 
it's a pretty light rod. The reel is a 1,000. Uh, you know, some of you guys are like, man, that's way too small for, you know, the fish that you're catching. And uh, surprisingly, it isn't. And, and the reason why I use that light of a rod is because I'm casting, casting, casting. And uh, you start getting, uh, <clears throat> you know, 3,500 on there. 2500 aren't aren't bad but you start getting 35 4 thousand and you're chunking lures all day uh it it becomes quite tiresome oh here's here's a key tip on the net when when you're fighting the fish you've got to get control and the only way you're going to get control is when that fish is tired and, and uh, one of the most common mistakes when trying to net these fish is we don't get our fish tired. So uh, let him get tired. And once he's tired and you can drag him in the water with his head kind of up, kind of surfboarding the plane, you drag him into the net. That's when you, your partner will put that net in the water and uh, you drag him. And, and he'll, you know kind of scoop it at the same time when it when it's time but <clears throat> most people make a mistake by trying to catch that fish in that net too early before it's ready he's giving quite a fight too right? I'm enjoying that <laughs> Jerry was using uh, the same color, but uh, I think it's the lure is called a twitcher or tweaker. It has tweaker is what it is, and uh, it doesn't have a tail on it. But the way it darts around that water when you kind of jerk it here and there, it really makes it look like a shrimp. Now there's another color that's kind of a brown with the golden flakes in there. And that that that's been pretty pretty hot too. But the water was so muddy that day, I, f I felt that we needed to go with the uh, slam shady color. We did get a lot of bites today, uh, but my hook and my lure, uh, the, the shank on that thing was kind of short, and the gap f to the top of the hook. I really wasn't comfortable with so I don't know if the fish that we were were biting lures was it was smaller and they were just getting the, the the half the lure in their mouth and not even touching the hook where this is a bigger fish and and he was able to swallow the whole thing but I typically like the wider hook like maybe a three or two and a longer shank to get that hook further down the tail well in closing here um, we're just going to have to go out another day and, and get some more video of some fish fishing there. Uh, I forgot to do the uh, the uh, <clears throat> intro of that even this morning. It's amazing how <laughs> you get out of your routine, man. It's hard to get back into it sometimes. But... Uh, Thanks again, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll get get you on the next one.